Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Math 20-3, Chapter 3, Section 7, Surface Area, Volume, and Capacity of Constant Figures, Part 2. Now, find the surface area of this constant object to the nearest square centimeter. Now, a couple of things here. One, no shapes. We have a cone top. And we have a cylinder down below. Let me see the cylinder. Now, this is one of my favorite trick questions when you see this all the time in the surface area. What is the surface area of a cone? Surface area of a cone. Put one little sheet. And I'm going to try to close. Surface area is pi r squared plus pi r s. Now, this leads right to my very first trick. Oh, well, not trick, it's the trap that most people fall into. Pi r squared is the circle, pi r s is the side. Where's the circle? Inside. You don't count it because it's inside. It's not part of the outside. So, surface area is just pi r s, just the side. So, pi times the radius. Now, there's the radius there, 3 centimeters. Pi times 3 centimeters times the side height of pi. Now, was I nice and gave you the slide height, or was I cool head and gave you the height and you had to figure out the slide height? Well, this time I was nice, I gave you the slide height. Yes. Okay. Now, here you have to be able to grab the calculator. on the inside, you don't count it. Now, we do the same thing for the cylinder. Let's so say the cylinder. Let's say the cylinder. Check one of the volume capacity figures in the base times height, which is, in this case, pi r squared, because of the circle. So, Base. Oh, sorry, not volume. Look how small it is. Give me a little bit of But the volume, surface area. I think it's even old. Yes, I can hear you yelling at me through the screen. I got the surface area of a cylinder right here at the top. Twice the area of the circle plus the area of the rectangle of the side. 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Okay. like the circle here, so we don't have two of these, we have one of them. So it's only pi r squared. You sneaky. Yes, I'm evil and I smell funny, except that. So this is pi times r squared, and the radius is 3 centimeters. 2 times pi times 3 centimeters times 6 centimeters. No 
the heck is doing that next thing? Let's do that. Five times three times three is twenty eight point four, twenty eight point three. And notice I'm doing this in a series of steps. Some of you guys are good and lucky, you can plug it out in the calculator at once. I'm not one of those people. So I really do want you to do a good head. So we've got the bottom side. Okay, so this is right. This is the bottom. And this is the side of the cone. So I'm just doing this in my head. Am I missing any bits? I hope not, because it's embarrassing when I do this in a video. Anyway, so so if you say total. Side of the cone, 47.1 centimeters squared, plus the bottom, 28.3 centimeters squared, plus the side, 113.1 centimeters squared. Now, see if I can do this in my head. Ratio, 188 square. Right? So here, this is what you have to be able to do. Break it down into pieces, find the surface area of each piece, and if there's something hidden inside, we don't count it for surface area. Now, let's do another volume. The promised object is a triangular prism on a rectangular prism. The base of the triangular prism is the equilateral triangle. Okay. Oh, it means all three sides are the same. Find the volume of this object. Right. Not much bad. So we have this triangular prism on top. Done this before, triangular prism, volume, area base. Okay. Now, the base here is a triangle, so that's base times height two times height. Now, I'm doing this one with you because there's two heights here. Just to confuse you. Now, on the formula sheet, uh, a general form for volume or capacity of prisms and cylinders, area base times height. Now, I didn't put down the volume for this one because there's two heights in there. And oh, I did, never mind. Right here. One half the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle times height. So you have the height of the triangle and you have the height of the prism. So plug those numbers in. That is the base of the triangle here, is 6. The height of the triangle here is 5.2 meters. Two. And then you have the height of the prism, which is another 9 meters. The volume is nice because you don't have to worry about missing size. Anyway. You guys, well actually let's calculate that quickly. Now, I'm going to pause the recording. I want you guys to figure out the volume of this prism down below. 
Hold on. Okay. And then I want you to find the total body. We'll come back and compare answers. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Length times width by height is 6 meters by 9 meters by 6 meters. I got 324 meters to each. I did say von Tour, so adding these together, or one to six, four hundred and sixty-four point four meters to each. Okay. So we just found the volume. Okay. Now, you got it? Go on. The next one I believe is the surface area question. Oh, same shape, but now we gotta find the surface area. So pause the recording, think about it, and we'll go on. Alright? 